Well, kid, here we are. But there's nobody here. Don't worry, kid, they'll be here. These Christians make it a habit to read their Bibles and pray every morning. You're sure? Of course I'm sure. I've been ruining quiet times for Christians for over 2,000 years. Speak of the devil, here comes one of them now. Shouldn't we hide or something? What for? We demons are spirit beings. Humans can't see us. I knew that. Hey. What? She's praying. Yeah, yeah, so? If we're here to spoil her quiet time with the Lord, shouldn't we be doing something? Not yet. It won't do no good. Why not? Contrary to popular opinion, the powers of us demons is rather limited. If she's praying, God is going to hear her prayers, no matter what we do. I knew that. Okay. Do your thing. Um, what's my thing? What did they teach you at the Demon Academy? About what? Didn't they teach you about disrupting a Christian's quiet time? It's possible that I may have slept through that lesson. Rookies. And they wonder why I hate working with rookies. All right, I'll take this one while you watch and learn. But when the next Christian starts reading his Bible, you're on your own. Got it. You're out of milk. You need to stop by the store and pick up some milk. Now why am I thinking about milk? This passage has nothing to do with milk. That's amazing. Works every time. Observe and take note. You're out of shampoo too. Shampoo? What's shampoo got to do with this passage? You need to call your mother. You haven't called her yet this week. What is going on here? Why can't I keep my mind on my Bible reading? Gee, I wonder why. You're really good, boss. She hasn't even read a whole paragraph yet. You're missing the point, kid. It ain't the quantity that counts, it's the quality. The quality. You need to time your distractions to interrupt the application of the Bible to her life. If she applies the Bible to her life, our goose is cooked. I knew that. The blouse you want to wear to church tonight is in the laundry. The laundry? Why am I thinking about the laundry? I'll tell you why, because you was about to apply that Bible verse to your life. That's a no-no. That's a no-no. Okay, kid, here's your chance. Piece of cake. Remember, wait until she tries to apply the Bible to her life. Got it. You forgot to water your house plants yesterday. Hey, I said you'd forgot to water your house plants yesterday. All right, let's try this one. Your car is almost out of gas. You forgot to sign your time card at work yesterday. I had my Christian completely frustrated, kid. How is yours doing? It's not working, boss. What do you mean it's not working? It always works. I tried everything. I tried household chores. 
I tried things at work. Nothing seems to distract her. Let me try. You seem to be putting on a few pounds lately. Oh. On to the next one. Wait a minute. Don't tell me you're giving up. I know when I'm licked. I don't get it. Obviously not. She's a lister. A lister. She's a lister. She makes lists. Every time she had a distraction, she wrote it down and put it out of her mind to deal with it later. We can't fight that. You haven't sent your grandmother a greeting card this month. That's it. I can't concentrate. I'm done. Maybe tomorrow. You get the point, kick. Yeah. We demons focus our efforts on the defenseless Christians. The ones who don't make lists. We don't waste time on the listeners. Now you're learning, kid. Based on a play by Bob Snook. Conditions for use. Do not sell any part of this script, even if you rewrite it. Pay no royalties, even if you make money from performances. You may reproduce and distribute this script freely, but all copies must contain this copyright statement. 